Once again, folks, my name is Zach, joined by my co-host, your favorite technician, the one who handles all your calls, Billy Billy Williams. Williams. And we had a talk with Peyton uh, for this tech call, and he was working with a Ford IDI and seemed to be having some glow plug issues. You know, it's that time of year we just keep getting calls about glow plugs, cold temperatures, and those glow plugs start to go. Well, and, and Peyton was from Idaho. Cold is a consideration. Um, it's consideration, uh, you know, everywhere, but but certainly up, up north like that, you really uh, have to make sure that all of those glow plug systems are working properly. When he called in, you know, you had some in- initial notes to, to start off the call. What was the problem that he was reaching out to us specifically? He's a, a second generation owner, and there was some custom wiring that had been done on this vehicle. Um, and Emphasis on the custom. Well, uh, and frankly, as he described it, I wasn't quite sure why it was done that way. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had a little trepidation about uh, taking him too far down that path. So rather than try to troubleshoot what he had, um, I, I wanted him to start with, okay, let's see if the glow plugs are actually working. Mm. Okay. Let's see if you're getting power. Right. And then work back from that. And, and ultimately he needed to rip out everything that had been done and, and do it right. I did, um, send him a wiring diagram, uh, that we talked about. I just wanted to send him the diagram so he could, um, get a general idea because, if you if you've never done it before, um, it, it 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 is uh, something that you have to have to kind of take a pause and just kind of digest why you know this wire goes here and why this button should be a push button rather than a switch. Blah blah blah. So let's see the call. Hello, uh, Peyton, please. Oh uh, yes, it's Peyton. Hey, Mister. My name is Billy Williams. I work in the tech department of Diesel Care. Okay. And I was yeah. asked to give you a call. You were working on a 9473 IDI, and you yes. had some questions about the glow plug system. Yes, sir. So I put a whole new glow plugs and controller in it uh, last year sometime. Okay. And I, I can't remember off the top of my head if it was after the freeze we had down here in Texas or not. But uh, I haven't really used them ever since I've done the whole, ever since I've swapped everything over. Mm-hmm. And my truck already has a switch in the cab to kick them on. Mm-hmm. And uh, now that it's getting a little cooler here in Texas, and I'm trying to use those glow plugs, every time I flip that switch, my wait to start light just like blinks on the dash. Even if that switch is on, it, it does nothing. So I was wondering if there's any way I can check just like each individual glow plug or if I just need to go ahead and replace plugs and controller or what I need to do with it. A couple, couple quick questions here because it, it sounds like you've got some type of a uh, override switch on your dash, but you're still using your controller. Yeah, that was, that was my question. The previous owner had it with the switch in the cab. And the only thing I could figure that is for was for my glow plugs. Cause every time I flick it, cause it's just, it's not a momentary like toggle switch. It's just a, it's a dual stage switch. Okay. And every time I switch it, like the on position, that way to light, the way to start light just like flashes in the dash and then turns off immediately. If the switch is on or not. Okay. Um, well, first things first, I would get me a voltmeter. And, okay. and I would turn that switch into the on position. I, I side note, whenever you get this figured out, if you need that switch, swap it out with a push button. Cause okay. the problem is, is if you ever leave that switch on and driving down the road, those glow plugs will burn up and okay. you won't know it till you try to pull them out because they swell on the ends they and swell you, up. Uh, you have not cursed um, until you try to get a glow plug out after it's swollen, um, and it's swollen up. And that's that's kind of what I'm afraid of because I don't know if that switch, I don't know if that switch just like turns on the controller and the controller does its own thing, like the controller will cycle it on its own, or what that switch. 
really does because I'm not 100 percent sure, like you said, if it's a manual override or what it is. Well, when you're when that weight, and and I'm making some assumptions here, so um, okay. uh, but if the weight to start light is blinking, that that sounds to me like the um the it sounds like to be, you're turning on the controller the the okay. whole idea of the switch is to bypass the controller so oh, you're, okay. so okay. you're you're controlling and that's why a push button you know even yeah. down in you know down in texas you know you you press it you hold it in for you know two three seconds then you release it then you try to start it and then you might cycle it again um, okay. But it doesn't sound like your glow plugs are cycling. First things first, put the switch in the on position, get you a voltmeter, and see if you've got voltage to your actual glow plugs. So okay, that that's what the good, what is a good voltage to be reading to the to the plug? Eleven and a half volts. Okay. And um, the first thing you need to determine is am I am I getting voltage to the glow plugs? And then conversely, is something cutting them off? Is my controller jumping in there and saying, oh, you're heating them up too much and then shutting off. So okay. that's, you know, the voltmeter is really going to be the, the tell-all here. Um, now, let's assume for a minute that you've got some weird wiring configuration and you're getting power to the glow plugs, but they're not cutting off. At okay. that point, I would, I would think I would uh, invest in a glow plug bypass kit and just replace everything. Um, okay. And, so I was looking, I was looking on y'all's thing on. I don't mean to cut you off, but I was looking at y'all's the kit for it online. I, so that the just the button, just kind of you don't have to put a controller back in there, or that controller's just there. You're bypassing forward. the controller, and you're interacting directly with the relay. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. You're you become the controller. Okay. Uh, and that's why the push button is so important. Years ago, um, when we were buying kits from other people, they had a they had a toggle switch, and um, and I hated that concept. And you'd leave it on, and then you're right, and then you'd get ten miles down the road and go, "Oh God, I forgot to turn my glow plugs off." Well, by then it's too late. Yeah, and, and um, so I, for the longest time, when I'd buy those kits, I would take that switch and throw it in my toolbox and go down to AutoZone, get a nice push button. And okay. and so that's that's what I would recommend. But I would get your voltmeter out. Uh, start by defining what the problem is. And, okay. um, and, you know, you might be able to fix it with what's on the truck. Worst case scenario, get a bypass kit, you're good to go. Okay. So if, is there any way to check those plugs, like if they're swollen or anything? Is there any, is there any way those plugs just go bad? And they won't heat even if they're getting power. I mean, they can burn out. Uh, you know, a, a real simple test is uh, the, the most simple is all. You know, pull them out, get you a couple of you know alligator clips, hook them up to the battery, see if they heat up. You'll know in a, <laughs> in, okay. a in a quick second. You'll know. Uh, oh yeah, that, that, and uh, and if you go to pull them out and they're not coming out, well, then you you say some prayers and hope you don't have to pull the head off. Uh, yeah, they're, um, I've, I've done it both ways. I mean, I've broke them off and then tried to fish them out. And they, there's, there is no good answer there. Um, okay. you just, you want to hope and pray that you can get them all out. Um, and then just do a quick test on them. And, um, okay. um, but in this scenario, it might be good if you didn't have voltage going to them. Um, cause then you, then all it is, is a wiring issue and you, and get it all oh. hooked up and you'd be good to go. And, and another thing might be, I may have just put my wires on that controller wrong or something like that. When I, why don't you do this? This is my cell number. If you will, uh, text me after our call, your email address, I'll email you the schematic that would come with our kit anyway. Okay. And you can kind of take a look at that. That'll help you. Um, if nothing else, it'll go, okay, well, this is what I'm facing if I buy this kit. And it's not it's not complicated, but it might yeah. help you. You may not need the kit. So. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. All right, uh, Mr.
Well, we appreciate the call, and um, uh, if you get a chance, uh, um, leave us a good review wherever you found us at. And um, I appreciate it. And uh, like I said, if you have any further questions, just give me a call back. All righty. Thank you, sir. Thank you now. Bye-bye. All right. So you were able to help Peyton out with his issue? I think so. Um, I think he is um, – uh, gonna find I, I hope he finds that his glow plugs were not working because uh as we talked about in the call if those glow plugs swell up you you not only ruined your day you ruined your weekend yeah. um and it's, it's gonna be a lot of work ahead of you well and there are tricks to the trade and and uh, sometimes it's just blind luck but at the bottom uh, the bottom line is is you really don't want to go there if you can avoid it um and that's the whole reason of having a an interrupting system. Because mm-hmm. you put constant power to a glow plug, you could sit there on your workbench and watch it just swell up and explode. Uh, it's not Don't exploding. try that by, at home, by the way. <laughs> no, but, but hopefully for Peyton, I hope he's going to find these glow plugs have not been interacting with voltage at all. Um, he can either get our kit or he might be able to work with what he's got. Um, but he just needs to get in there and wire it to where it is a true interrupted system. Right. And um, he should be fine. Well, that's uh, that's it for this week, folks. Um, if you have any more glow plug issues out there or fuel injector issues, high-pressure oil pump, whatever system is failing on your diesel, give us a call. Let us know about it. We'd love to help you. And we'll see you next time. Yeah! I'm built out and bound to go I'm gonna leave Leave here running Because walking is most too slow Alright, back to one